This is Karna. Back to my channel. In this video, my international news are going on. From today, my first news is million more Americans join the unemployment line because of corona diseases. Another 3 million Americans filed jobless claims last week, bringing total to 33 million since coronavirus diseases. And my second news is Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg at 87, the U.S. Supreme Court oldest member, was discharged on Wednesday from hospital. And my next news is, Apple awards $10 million to NASA swab maker Kofan Biobutics to help boost factory output. And my next news is, a document created by the nation's top disease investigator with step-by-step -step advice to local authorities on how and when to reopen restaurants and other public places in United States of America. And my next news is, face masks make a political statement in era of coronavirus. The decision to wear a mask in public is becoming a political statement and my next news is south korea to play leading role in global discussions on tackling covid 19. local media outlets in south korea cited a foreign ministry official as saying the country is to launch multilateral groups in the united nations and world health organization and unesco in this month and my next news is South Korea schools to reopen next week with flexible attendance. With the Education Ministry's new guidelines, students and parents have much more flexibility in choosing whether they return to school in right way. And my next news is India gas leak. At least 13 dead after Vishakhapatnam incident. At least 13 people have been killed by a massive gas leak at a chemical plant in southern India with 800 other taken to hospital. The leak from the LG polymers plant in the city of Vishakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh state came as people slept. Doctors say patients have been complaining of a burning sensation in the eyes and difficulties breathing. Areas around the plant have been evacuated negligence of officials and my next news kenya somalia hit by the deadly flooding flooding as a result of recent heavy rains has killed more than 260 people across east africa kenya has been the hardest hit with the government recording 194 deaths and my next news is uganda's 491 million dollars coronavirus loan approved by the IMF. The International Monetary Fund has approved a loan of 491 million dollars to Uganda to help the country's economy cope with the cost of containing the coronavirus situations. And my next news is Japan approves a pro-drug drug for COVID-19. Japan's health ministry has approved antiviral drug for COVID-19 according to an NHK report. As of Thursday, even Japan has reported more than 15,000 COVID cases with 560 deaths in their country. And my next news is, China releases list of second batch of tariff exemptions for US goods. Goods exempt from the extra tariff includes aircraft parts and medical equipment according to the statement published on the ministry's website. These are all the news about today. Please subscribe my channel. Don't forget it. This is Karna signing off.